Hello again, <clears throat> and uh, welcome to another talk. And this talk is called Talk on Where Narcissistic Behaviour Comes From. Uh, as I've said many times that, and it's, it's in psychology, uh, I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist, but what happened to me was an unexpected spiritual awakening. Just under 10 years ago, I was 24, I'm 34 this year, and in that awakening, to cut a long story short, I realised the issues that was within me. And that is what projects how we feel about the external world and people and situations. And so, what we're dealing with is is tr- I I don't I don't talk about COVID nineteen or climate change anymore or any of that kind of stuff on my website or any of my talks because I've realised now that the core issue is why I had this spiritual awakening. I sat down and had enough when I was twenty four, and it manifested the spiritual awakening. And the core issues on the planet, because everything's energy. Everything's energy, everything comes from nothing at some point. And f- the nothing obviously is awareness, energy, awareness, consciousness. So it's just that, but the consciousness that w- we choose to create creates the, the energy. And so the energy dictates health or dis-ease, which is disease. So narcissistic behavior comes from trauma, you know? Uh, like I listen to art, some audiobooks sometimes and uh, and some of them regarding trauma and some doctors regarding trauma say the same things I'm saying and uh, you know that because that, you've got an unconscious self you know the unconscious self uh, manifests the conscious self and the unconscious trauma is that thing that makes you react negatively to a situation. And that is where narcissistic behavior comes from. It comes from trauma. It's like, let's just say I started calling someone a narcissist. Now, when we're calling someone a narcissist, what the feeling will be normally within us is not a, not a nice feeling. When we're calling other people names like that, it's normally a horrible vibration within us. It is that. That's what makes you... Because if you was a nice feeling, you'd want to bring others up. And the reason you feel this horrible vibration is because you, you know, your body's telling you you're doing something wrong. Right? Listen to your body. And listen to how it feels. In your body when you're... Saying something or thinking something. You know, feeling something. Whatever. And so... In that moment, you're a way to react. How to heal it is, at that moment of reaction, forgive yourself and meditate on that feeling. Meditate on the feeling that you've got when you were about to react. And you're you're tapping right into the trauma that made, that made you want to react. You see, and the trauma disguises itself as through fear and insecurity. Nar- ultimately narcissistic behaviour. See, what it's trying to do is it's when we're scarred like that, where we're uh, trying to cover ourselves up. You know, we're trying to cover the scars up by putting up the shield. And it's a defence thing. And attacking other people, demonising other people. But you know, it's like I always say, your perception is your reflection, right? It, because you can only perceive and think about a person based on how you are within you. Like, we don't see things or people as they are. We see them based on how we are and who we are within us, you see? So when you feel negative, this can be a good gauge to ha- where you need to heal, you know? So, yeah, every time you you uh, feel that negative reaction, you want to demonize someone, that's how you heal it. 
But regarding nar- that's where narcissistic behavior comes from. You know? Even me ta- saying this about narcissist, I know that it's my inner narcissist that perceives the external narcissist, you see? So as soon as I feel myself demonizing someone, I forgive myself, stop, forgive yourself, and meditate on that that feeling that, that, or whatever came from within me that made me want to demonize the external narcissist. So your, your, your reality is just a mirror. You're looking into your own reflection all the time. That's, and if everybody looked from this angle, we would heal all the world's problems. I call it the angelic signs. The angelic signs is what I give name to those moments. And this is how you heal the inner narcissist and the trauma is every time you feel that negative reaction, your way to judge someone, call them a name or something like that. Forgive yourself and practice being at that moment. Try to practice being non-judgmental. Feel that compassion for that person. Feel that empathy for that person. Even try to put yourself in, in that person. Uh, shoes life and what will happen is that will put you into a very heart based healing state and you'll realise that it, w- it was a within thing that was making you react negatively which is the trauma which which makes people act narcissistic it's like the loudest person in the room is the most scared person in the room but like I said a moment ago a few moments ago that it, it's when we're emotionally traumatised So unconsciously, we put up layers of protection. You know, because one of the things that happens when we're traumatized is we're not able to flight, we're not able to fight. So we're in this position where we're helpless. You see, we're helpless. And that's that creates the trauma. You know, it could have been when you were a child, it could even be before you were born, you know, uh, you know, because you have past lives as well, and and so this becomes the unconscious self, but you can use this unconscious self to heal, because that reaction is the that you feel, that's the unconscious self. So that's where your narcissistic behavior comes from. You know, and every, and, and every time you feel, uh, like, or your way to demonize someone, or you are. As soon as you you notice that you're that you're that you're doing that, and it's this negative feeling, meditate upon it. See, on these talks, I I'm trying to give a solution. I am giving a solution to to healing this. I'm not into just demonizing narcissistic people, because I know that if as soon as I do that, that's within me that's doing it. Right, it's it's within me, so. I, I'm sharing that, you know. But yeah, that's how it began for me from an unexpected spiritual awakening. But it wasn't the higher powers blessing me. I made a conscious decision. I had enough and I decided to wake up. I didn't know what I was really doing at the time. Uh, no, I didn't really know what I was doing. I unconsciously went to my heart and was authentic for the first time. And then it manifested an awakening. And anyone can do it. Anyone can do it. And uh, through this awakening, I developed all different techniques. And I just try and share it. And everything's on my website. You know, I don't charge money for, for what I'm doing. I don't charge courses. I ask for a little donation if people want to. They don't have to, but if they want to, they can. But I'm not going to do courses or try and do anything like that to make lots of money. Uh, I leave everything on my website. And the reason I do that is because that's why I had this awakening. And also, if, if, if it was me and I saw someone giving everything on their website, I would give them a donation. Uh, but that's, that's just it. But yeah, everything's on my website. All the information about, about healing yourself, everything I've been through, it's all on my website. I give my heart and soul into my website all the time. Always working on it. But uh, I think I'm just going to leave it there. For latest updates, talks, news, research, uh, so every, uh, poems as well, I've started writing lately as well. Please do check my website at www.lovelightfamily.com. Thank you.